All right, we are back. Migraine Monday. You know, ah, whatever. Okay, so I have backed up. I'm watching this live now, and I have backed up. Yeah, I'm going to do some catching up, but I had to. It was already here. You know, this is one of these where I just, you know, you think there's nothing left, right? You think there's nothing possibly left that could be a bunch of horse patooey on this thing. Oh, before I go, let me say this. Made it to a thousand subs. Whoa! Oh, that sounded horrible. Okay, my sleep is all jacked up from watching this trial. So, you know, I haven't slept much, da da da. And that just sounded like I was drowning a cat. So I apologize about that. Anyway, I'm at 2,000 subs. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Whatever happened with that one video that got into the uh, algorithm got suggested. Hip, hip, freaking hooray. You guys did it for me. I'm so freaking excited. If I knew how to edit videos, you'd see a bunch of confetti falling and whistles blowing. I saw a file for monetization. Um, and with that, I'm trying to dust off my OBS and do live streams, cover some of these uh, court cases and stuff. Because again, if you guys like like the lawyers that do it, I totally understand. But for me personally, I've been doing this for many years. I like to like, um, I let the lawyers argue the case. I like to look at it like I would think if I was a jury, right? Or somebody sitting out in the gallery. And kind of just watch it as it goes along. But again, that's just me. And, you know, but no, no shade. Anybody does another way. Let's get to this. If you are, just, if you have not watched yet today, okay, rewind the tape. Oh, you about to hear Mr. Uh, Mr. Oh my God. You know what? Should be a mistrial. I should get off scot free. Why? Oh, you about to listen. Okay. And another one of these, he sent off some like important, valid crucial 911 information over to her and the um and the uh plaintiff in the matter and then you're about to hear exactly what that you know em email full of information was do you anticipate calling any witnesses today oh um look at this fool like this is what i mean by is like frustrating watching somebody like this part are you planning on calling any witnesses today um, I don't know if I was going to get chicken pot pie today or if I was going to do pepperoni pizza. You know, this a trial doesn't work like hunky dory. You get to call, you know, oh, I'm not going to call any witnesses today. I was going to save that for next Thursday. Oh, you actually have to like go in line and call your witnesses. You can't pick and choose and wait 24 hours. Ugh, we all know. You probably, yeah, we know. I don't call people. I don't believe today. I don't believe well, today. We are here for the continuation of testimony. Um, the only witness that I'm aware of that's on your list that I that you added uh, is your mother, Dawn Woods. So I would expect that if she's going to testify, she would be here. Otherwise, um, I will be going through the colloquy with you as to whether you intend to testify today or not. Did you receive my um, ICS that I addressed to you? Here, here we go. Delay tactic 7,453. I haven't looked. What's Actually, I just went to you and then went to the prosecution. Mm -hmm. yeah, just... Is the audio on? It is. The audio is on. This is a crucial message. You know, back out. He, he could be talking about it right now. You know, addressing it in court. Do you know when you sent those? On the oh, record. Saturday. In live stream to the world. So that would have been the 22nd. Saturday. State receive anything through like the inner office communication? We have not. I just checked uh, this morning to see if there's anything new. Nothing has been received at my office. Or... Did you check? Did you check with Mike Tyson to see it's attached to one of his uh, one of his pigeons' asses? Did you check there? I mean, and I should say the uh, clerical that was assisting me went to the mailroom to double check. 
Oh, yeah. So not only has it not made its way to the DA's office, it hasn't even made its way over to the mailroom. AKA, their asses are fed up. <laughs> I can email the jail administrator to find out if there's anything in transit, if there's no objection from the parties from the state. No objection. From you, sir? No objection. Um, this I this. definitely want those uh, documents received as they, they obtain uh, important information. I want those documents received because they obtain important information. You heard it. You heard him say it. They obtain important information. Okay. You said you forwarded them to a staff member on Saturday? Yes. Do you know if that was morning, afternoon, or some other time? Um, maybe afternoon. And those are two ICF forms? Yeah, one addressed to you directly and one addressed to the district attorney's office. I got a fast forward, just type it. Alright, I'm sending that. I will send um, but I don't have anything. If you want to generally tell me the topic, we can yes, cover sir. it verbally. Uh the topic is uh pertaining to uh exculpatory evidence. Uh some some things were learned and uh once they came to my attention. I felt the need to immediately address the court of, about this information. Um, right. What the, information? Make an offer of proof for me, sir. The uh, the expert witness uh, for the prosecution in, in regards to um, I believe it was inspecting the vehicle. Uh, uh, Officer Ryan Schultz. Um, question was asked of did he know if there were any uh, recalls on that vehicle and yep yep we're about to go there we're about to go there no step my I don't. believe that and I know I'm um, not alone a Brady claim should be visited because there were in fact recalls on that vehicle. In, in fact, there were recalls on the Ford Escape models from 2008 through 2010 um, in regards to the throttle body malfunctioning and causing the vehicles to accelerate and not being able to be stopped. Um, there is a class action lawsuit. Look, this is what we just said. They forced them to accelerate and not be able to be stopped. Um. We're Ford company were sued because of this and those vehicles models from the year 2008 through 2010 were recalled and that is very important information in regards to the vehicle in question being a Ford Escape 2010. Um, this information is very easily obtained just by pulling it up and you will see a class action lawsuit. Obviously, if it's a class action lawsuit, then it's pretty easy to. So what's be, your request, sir? Uh, my request is. And sitting there thinking, is this going to work? Is this going to work? Is it this easy? You know, just say it like this. It's the card's fault, you know? I mean, it's not like I could, you know, swerved out, out of the parade route or whatever. I mean, I had to mow over those 60 something people, you know? My car. To find out if Officer Schultz knew, to find out if the prosecution knew that there was a recall on those vehicles. Mm. And you could Google it. It's not top secret. In light of the uh, the fact that these vehicles were recalled because yeah. of this malfunctioning uh, throttle body. For, uh, I believe it's See? counts one through seventy three to be dismissed. One through one through seventy three be dismissed. All right. What's the response from the state, if any? Oh, you're thank you, Your Honor. Um, as Trooper Schultz testified um, during his 
examination um, consistent with our research there are no active recalls listed for the Ford Escape as Trooper Inspector Schultz note, noted during his testimony that uh, Ford listed an extended warranty for the throttle body on the Escape listen he just said he didn't mention it he said it wasn't divulged and that's just somebody he testified to it Oh, good Lord, help me The out. warranty was extended to 10 years of age and 150,000 miles. The escape is more than 10 years old and has more than 150,000 miles. Um, also, he noted specifically in his report that he did not note any defect in the throttle body as previously described in this report. Um, there was no recall in the throttle body. Um, NHTSA did do an investigation into allegedly defective Ford throttle body. Oh, she's ready. You see that she prepared. By the way, this thing didn't just seem to have an issue for 12 years, and you're going to tell me it only had the issue right when you went, when you pulled off from your altercation with your baby mama because you stopped it on the road there, and they managed to get it to a stop in the driveway after, you know, the whole front end had been basically torn off. Bodies which would have impacted this year. Basically, the electronic throttle body failures would have resulted in engine stall or surge while entering traffic from a stop position or while driving at highway speeds, um, neither of which I believe occurred here. Further, tr uh, Inspector Schultz would testify that um, that. And if you don't know, this reminds me of like what happened with my go kart. My dad was a tanker. I don't know if y'all have you have dads like this or y'all some y'all have husbands like this or whatever. But my dad is a small engine like repair guy. Like he can make anyway. When we were little, he took a lawnmower motor off of a lawnmower, a riding lawnmower, put it on a go kart. One one of the open body flat ones. Okay, the old ones. I right? I'm older, and uh, that sucker was so geared up. That I remember as a kid, I would have to, when me and my sister would get hot, me and my sister would have to like, if she was getting on it and I was getting off it or whatever, when you got up, you had to push your foot on the brake and hold it there for the other person to hop on or that damn thing would take off, okay? My mother was worried we was going to like snap our necks on this thing. Needless to say, it was fun, fun, fun. My sister's friend decided to run to the side of our house with the damn thing, but whatever. And then my sister ran over me one time when I was playing Daisy Duke. You know, I loved Dukes of Hazard when I was a kid. Anyway, anyway, I saw her. Does not prevent the brake from working. So if this yeah. had been activated on this car, which it was not, but if it had been, and this defendant would have pushed down on the brake, uh -huh. um, it would have stopped the car. Yeah. Uh, further, if this was a problem, there would have been um, the malfunction indicator lamp or the wrench light would have been illuminated as Trooper Schultz, um, or Inspector Schultz testified when he started the vehicle and checked the um, indicator lights, none of them were lit. Further, if there was this, he would have um, observed material buildup on the commutator. Um, there was no such buildup observed. There were no problems. Um, with the throttle, um, electronic throttle body, um, that was part of his report. Uh, therefore, this is, although there may have been some cars who had this problem, um, the <coughs> car that the defendant was driving on this day did not have that problem. That was testified during the elect or the um, vehicle inspection. The defendant had the opportunity to cross-examine Inspector Schultz. Um, with regard to that, and again, in running uh, the defendant's mom's um, VIN number through NHTSA, um, National Highway um, Traffic and Safety Administration, um, there are, for this particular VIN number, for this car that the defendant was driving, zero unrepaired recalls. Right. So it's a mood issue. I don't believe it's a mood issue. Uh, of course you don't. And I actually have uh, it should the report should be <laughs> in the mail room as we speak. I had everything uh, sent over priority mail. The actual uh, information about the class action lawsuit, the actual information about the uh, the recalls for those models, like I said, uh, uh, two thousand and eight through. 
2010. Now, in all fear, you can keep repeating the number if you want to. The problem is here, um, be nice, Laura. Lord be with me. Uh, the problem is here, Twinkle Toes, is that the car that you were driving was 12 years old and you didn't seem to have any problems putting it in your music video and stopping it on the side of the road. You didn't have any problems stopping it to see that girl or stopping it whenever you was trying to go run and hide. So really, we're, we're really, you're going to go with, you're going to go with this as a defense. Oh, I couldn't stop my car. It just took off. Your Honor, uh, <clears throat> Your Honor, have you ever seen... That's why I was asking for Knight Rider. A, a Brady. Have you ever seen Kit Knight Rider? I mean, Kit got pissed off at me, and I couldn't control it. A Brady claim on this. Um, seeing as how when uh, vehicles are purchased from the manufacturer... Oh, God. They're still sold as is. There, there would be no way to know that there's vehicles sold as is from the manufacturer. How do you think you get information? There's even been a recall. The manufacturer has to tell you by law. Thumbs up with the vehicle. Anything malfunctioning with the vehicle until it actually happens. Oh shit! And seeing this, a class action lawsuit. Uh, no one would sue the Ford company if there weren't malfunctioning vehicles. There would be no class action lawsuit if these vehicles were not malfunctioning. And do you really? Do you all really think that he's this daft? You know he's not. You, I mean, he is grasping at straws. But like, no, like, do you understand? It's like getting a bad batch of bacon. Okay, that's why they tell you to look at the code on the back. Okay, the, the certain batches go bad. That's why she read the VIN number, put the VIN number in the registry, and it said that there was none. Okay, probably from that line that had been flagged. That's what she was getting at. For, that's what I took from it. And he's still going with, listen, listen. 12 years, we didn't have a problem. Right before it, when I stopped. Right after it, I stopped. But listen, those three, three of those three minutes. Dun, 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 and you know, I'm telling my age here, but listen, I love not Ryder, Okay, I'm not blaming. I you believe yet. with with I that. It. You protect. Like I said, the information yeah. is easily obtainable. Um, I should have the information in the mailroom right now. Um, well, that you can. Readily view this information about the class action lawsuit, about the recall. It wasn't just the 2010 model in question; it was 2008 through 2010. Say um, that the information about the malfunctioning pertains strictly. He's repeating the same thing over and over to act like he's saying a bunch of shit. He is in a room full of lawyers and a judge. He's. I think he's thinking that these people are like he is where you have to tell him something 40,000 times and it still doesn't sink in. They get the 2008, 2010. Okay. You just keep repeating it. Like you got to the throttle body. Let me address your claim, sir. So, um, not trying to cut you off. I don't need the specifics about a class action because as it relates to this case, the fact that there's a class action would not mean there's a Brady violation by the state. In fact, you even indicate it was readily known and something you were able to find out. Um, I'd further note that you had a full and fair opportunity to cross-examine uh, the inspector regarding his mechanical inspection. Um, it's not new information. And more importantly, as it relates to this particular vehicle, based upon the testimony of uh, Inspector Schultz, um, it's speculative as to whether this vehicle would be impacted, number one, by the class action, and number two, uh, any throttle body uh, problems. Uh, because, again, there was a full inspection. That report was provided to you. He testified on direct examination about there being no active recalls, and more importantly, he testified about uh, what uh, impact uh, the throttle body would have and what he would expect to see if there were any issues uh, with it. 
Um, I am aware that the ICF, I did receive an email. It's one page uh, with... Um, one page. Now listen, remember all the information is in this email. Oh, it's pertinent. Oh my God. Hold the fire trucks. This bitch is going to be a blazing. Okay. This is what this, this center, this top secret classified 911 information. Um, what you said, it's, I have to turn my head. I got to figure out how to flip it. So give me a second. Okay. Just for the record, you're Hold on, let me finish my record, okay? Um, so I'm going to turn because it's the only way I can read. It says, your ICF says the state's expert witness who did the inspection on the vehicle in this incident needs to be recalled. No later than Wednesday, I just learned of some information that is extremely vital. Um, so That's what it said. That's what it said. So the witness needs to be recalled because I just learned some information that's vital. Now, remember what he just testified to, that he'd sent her all the reports, all the stuff information was in there. Oh my this that what did he send her? He sent her a paragraph. It was like I've learned some vital information. <sighs> yeah, you need to brown your roux before you pull your pour your milk in to make you gravy. Okay. People don't brown their flour enough and then they wonder why their damn gravy tastes like shit. Brown that stuff. That's there's you go. There's you some important information. Um, I, I understand the information that you're providing me, but again, you had a full and fair opportunity to cross-examine this witness. This information was apparently well known. I'd also note the vehicle's registered to your mother. And from my understanding of recalls, I think what is common knowledge is that a registered owner would receive uh, information regarding the recalls and what to do. Um, and presumably she would have provided that information uh, to anyone operating that vehicle or taking care of it. We have none of that information before us by way of fact or even an offer of proof that even she received that information and did nothing with it or whether um, anyone else who operated that uh, did anything with it or not. The bottom line is there is absolutely no Brady violation by the state. This is not the type of information they would have been required to turn over. Um, and from my understanding and review of Exhibit 83, um, what's important to this case is that the mechanical inspection specifically looked at that issue nonetheless and found that as to this particular vehicle, uh, there were no issues with that that would have impacted the mechanical function uh, during the incident in question. Um, I'll accept the state's offer of proof as to what would have been the issues based upon the information provided. And again, without anything further from you by way of your offer of proof, I can't uh, make a finding, number one, that there's a Brady violation, and number two, that the information you seek to cross-examine him on would have any impact whatsoever. So I'll deny the request to dismiss the case, and I'll deny the request to recall this witness. Hey, you're, hold, you're on. On. Let, hold on. Um, let me have the state just make their statement. I'll give you the last word on it. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, the inspector Schultz's mechanical inspection report was provided to the defense on April 29th, 2022. I noted that when the defendant was cross April 29th of 2022. Examining Inspector Schultz, um, he did have the report in front of him and it was questioning, um, asking questions directly related to information contained in that report. All right, go ahead, Mr. Brooks. Did when you spoke to the owner of the vehicle, that's who gave me the information. My mother gave me the information of, of this. I didn't, I had no knowledge until she told me. And Hello, Dangleberry. This is what being a lawyer is. Lawyers have to build their defense. So this is what you should have been doing instead of playing with your etch sketch in your damn room with your headphones and all your documents under your bed. Oh, by the way, found a video for you guys about was it some strange crap that went on the very beginning of this trial. I don't know if a lot of people have covered about his sale was actually, they went through his sale at one point. Um, that's kind of interesting, but yeah. My mom that's how I me, came into the information. And she me, was the one that said, I'm going to send you all the information that you need so you can present it to the court. 
did you send that in your massive 911 email or did you write a paragraph? So I got I got something to tell you. It's important. So I, I didn't this I understand that, sir, this but your request is not timely. So you have had this information for quite some time, either through counsel. I did not have it for quite Let some time. Let me make time. my record, just, either through counsel. It was just told to me. That's not what I'm saying. You've had the information about this report for quite some time, either through prior counsel or through um, all of the discovery that was turned over to you when you took over your representation of your own case. The fact that you have now learned this, um, it's a little bit too late. And I understand that may seem fair to you, but when I even when I consider the information that you're providing to me, it's, it's speculative on your part as to whether there's any impact on this particular vehicle because of the inspection that was done and you had a full and fair opportunity to cross-examine the inspector about information that was readily obtainable and researchable by you prior to the time that you uh, cross-examined this witness. It was not really readily available for me to expect at the time. I don't have access to the internet. Here we go with his lying ass saying he doesn't have access. He's getting, oh my God, help me. Lord, help me. So how, how would I be able to Mr. Brooks, you're telling me your mother had that information. No, so, I'm and I'm telling gonna you, trust she just told me this information. I have the phone calls to prove it. I understand that. I'm denying the request, sir. And I would, I would like a. Uh, so object that's my to that. decision. I object to that, Your Honor. I understand. I I've made my decision. That. I expect that you respect the decision, at least, no. as we're not going to debate it further. Yes. I now have the um, ICF. It needs to be, um, needs to be addressed, Your Honor. You're gonna hear here. Here we go. Here we go with uh with uh outrage. I gotta think of better nicknames for this dude. Like it's almost over. So like, what's the point? But you know, state, um, Madam Clerk, to I just gave that to you. All right. So Mr. I respectfully Brooks, object. That I respectfully object, Your Honor, and request a legal reconsideration of your ruling, Your Honor. Um, de it's denied. The request for reconsideration is denied. There. No legal basis for me to do I that. I respectfully at this point. reject that ruling and take exception to that ruling, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Brooks, we need to keep going. For the record, may I request a legal or factual basis for your ruling, Your Honor? I provided an oral ruling today. The record stands, sir. For the record, may I respectfully request a written judicial finding of facts and conclusion of law on this issue? Your request no. is denied. For the record, may I respectfully move for an interlocutory declaratory appeal of this matter? Um, I wouldn't be the one you would make that request to, sir. So I can't. For the record, may I move yes to stay no. these proceedings? Here we go. Here we go with somebody sending him a print off sheet from a website. This is what you say when you're in court, I'm making him look like an idiot. To the instant matter is adjudicated by a court of competent jurisdiction. That request is denied. Based on what law or fact, Your Honor? The request is denied. Based on what law or fact, what, Your Honor? Any other requests, sir, I'd like to move on. Based on what law? There's no or legal fact. basis that you've stated for me to do that, sir. There has it has been, Your Honor. The request is denied. The request is not a proper motion. It's there's no legal support for the motion. There's no factual support for the motion. So it's denied. For the record, it appears that this court is acting in contempt of the law, Your Honor. And again, just reading off the paper. I, I hope Billy Bob, whoever you are that sent him this, like, I hope you're proud of yourself. And this, this, the, you know what? The fact that he had this report, they've had this report since April, and he knew who's going to come in here and fire his damn lawyers and want to represent himself. And remember, she warned him. I don't know if y'all have seen this either. We can go through that. Just tell me down below. Um, she warned him. Listen, they have uh, they have all this experience at their disposal. You're not a trained attorney. You're not even going to know how to object properly. I, I'm not. What do you say? I'm not shook. I'm not even shook by that. You know, like to with this smart ass attitude. Now here comes the twelfth hour, and he's all like, "Oh, I just found out about this two minutes ago." You know, I don't know. How was I supposed to know? I don't know. It's called discovery. It's called looking up your 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 um, evidence. It's called trying a case.
Can you show me how or where this court is following the law of respect, respect in this matter? That's a very vague uh, statement, sir. There's no legal relief that you're claiming. There's no motion before the court based in law or fact. Um, so this court cannot address that last statement of yours. Your Honor, with all due respect, no, he ain't respecting her. Uh, I would like a motion for finding a fact. Denied. Under what law and uh, fact? I made an oral ruling, sir. There's no requirement. I do so in writing. <clears throat> so you're denying a legal, uh, so you're deny denying a motion for finding a fact. I am. So how do I know what you're doing is legal, Your Honor? All right, Mr. Brooks, we're going to move forward um, at this. Can you show me that it's legal? Mr. Brooks, um, we're moving forward. So your it request is like denied. It, it doesn't seem Mr. like Mr. Brooks, I need to give you some advice. It doesn't seem like that you stop I don't need, I don't need your advice. Um, I mean, no, I have I need to give you, you advisements, sir, regarding your right you to, to testify. Do, I need to do your job without well, prejudice and without Mr. bias. Mr. Brooks has now interrupted me multiple times. He's failing to respect the court's oral rulings here today. It's something that he's done repeatedly throughout this trial. Mr. Brooks, I need to go through some advisements. Unless you have a witness to immediately call, I need to go through this particular discussion on the record with you regarding your right you to testify. You don't need Do you to have and you know what? Let, listen, my mama, my mama, my mama told me, my mama come if I called it. Why isn't his mama there? If his mother sent him this information and he just watched and heard the prosecution talk about how she could enter something into evidence immediately and pull it out of her bag if it, it have had to do with this, if it had to do with this court case. All he has to do is call his mother up and question her about it. Why isn't his mother, who, by the way, is a car ride away from this courthouse, not shown up at the court for him. If she's all about him, she gave an interview, by the way, to a television station for whatever reason. Now she's saying she's got death threats and like uh, has blacked herself out in the screen or whatever. <laughs> but why wouldn't she show up in court for him if she's this adamant about it, it could have been the car's fault? Anybody? A witness you to don't call, need to go sir. through anything with me on record. You actually, to, I do so, actually, sir. That don't. is required by actually, law. Actually, you don't. You need to do your you job as a public clue. servant Mr. Brooks, and honor the oath that you I took, I need to go honor. through these advisements, and if you're going to keep interrupting me, I will. you will forfeit your right to be present, and you so will you're be removed to again. the next courtroom so that I can properly go through these advisements without being still, interrupted. And I still don't have to answer. I still don't have I still don't have to answer whether I'm in this court or not. So you're holding me in contempt yet again. Mr. Brooks, I've not held you in contempt. I've found that you have forfeited your right to be present by your conduct, which is one of the options available to this court under uh, Illinois versus Allen, under State versus Vaughn. It's also referenced in State versus Anthony. Um, so I am going to keep going, sir, despite your protestations. Your Honor, um, with all I need due you respect, to in not versus interrupt Allen, me. In this Illinois is another versus, interruption. In Illinois versus Allen. Mr. Brooks, I'm not going to have a debate with you on I'm the meaning of Illinois a versus I'm Allen. Not you to are, have a debate. You are I'm advised that it continued. Illinois versus Allen. Mr. Brooks, you are advised that continued interruptions will result in you forfeiting your right to be present. We're all used to this, right? We're all used to it. I cannot wait till I can live stream. I mean, you know, it's, they said it. They said this that this uh, monetization thing could take up to a month or whatever. I might I might do one before then or whatever. I've been trying to kind of hold off and like do that as a celebratory thing, really. But like, okay, so here it is. The thanks to all you for getting me there. I couldn't have done it without you. The amazing comments that you've left me below. Um, some of the suggestions you've given me I actually listed down below. Until I get monetized all the way, if you want to support me, send me some yard sale money, whatever, you know. Um, uh, and um, also try to make like a Reddit thread, a page. I thought it would be a good place to like have discussions back and forth about cases or whatever I cover here. If y'all want to get in, you know, get in there and like um, and uh, make a little community talk back and forth. Give me suggestions in there as well. Um, and uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's down there. I'm trying. I'm I'm working towards it. Y'all gave me another uh, like a shot of a uh, shot of a uh, gas in my ass. 
because it 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 does whenever things take forever, it can kind of like take the take the steam out of your engine. So like I, I feel like finally I made it to a goal. And y'all help me do it. Whatever YouTube did by putting me in that algorithm for y'all to find me. I'm forever grateful. So um, with that, I'm going to end this one here. He's going to be sent to that other room. So uh, wait a minute. I'm not going to end it here yet. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to watch some of this. And, um, and if I come back, it's because <laughs> it's worth adding to the end of this. All right. Here we go. Pause. You might see me back. If not. Uh, and I end it, I, you will see me in the next one. Again, thanks, guys, for all your support. It's been pretty amazing. And I really, really, really hope that y'all understand that. it. Um, I needed this, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, thanks, guys. Again, may see me, maybe not. Not see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, I had to add this in because you ain't. Here we go. She's done had to push him in the other room so she can get two words out. This is, again, flipping amazing after you just watch what happened. All right, thank you. I do have verification. There are headphones on the table in front of Mr. Brooks, should he? Okay, there's headphones, and he's just pushed them over there. There's little wires over there. What is crazy is, is what you, and you know he can hear her, apparently, because of what's about to happen. Uh, choose to wear them. I see he's reading from a book at the moment. I do need to make a record that this morning, although Mr. Brooks was... Oh, look, he says he's reading from a book and he holds up the Bible. I'll well, make sure everybody sees that, that I'm reading from the Bible. Not raising his voice. There were repeated interruptions. Um, he wanted to debate rulings that I made after the fact. Um, okay. just now hold up that Bible. Everybody see that Bible? Means I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I don't know if those six people and those dozens more you injured would agree, but I, he does it again. I asked him repeatedly to stop interrupting me. I advised him that Look. if he continued, he would forfeit his right to be present in this courtroom and would be taken to the neighboring courtroom. Um, I believe I gave that warning at least twice. Um, of course, that what is this? I, you know, I'm a, again, I'm a Christian and I live in the Bible Belt and there's nothing I, I hate more that disgusts me more is when people use God as a shield. You know, it, it it's like when the same people that, you know, don't have a relationship with not I don't mean to, I, no, you know, and I hate it when Christians apologize for being Christians too. I'm just talking about me right now. That when people don't have a relationship with God and then something happens in their life, and they're like, oh, God, if you do this, oh, God, if you do that, oh, God. And they're like, well, God didn't answer me or, or you know, God didn't do that. And I'm like, you didn't wait a minute. You you didn't bother to talk to him for what years and years and years, decades in some cases. And all of a sudden you figure out who he is when you need something. I get. Yeah. Uh, ugh. Anyway. There he is holding up that Bible. So she's gave him one final time to answer her whether or not he has another witness to call. And I'll let you watch some of that because uh, uh, it's typical, typical. You, um, do you have any other witnesses other than yourself available at the courthouse to call this morning, meaning um, now? This is the uh, jurisdiction of challenge right here. So are you going to address subject matter jurisdiction and prove it for the record or not? So I've asked Mr. Brooks twice now whether he has any witnesses to call other than himself. He has declined to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Sir, if you fail to answer that question, I will interpret your failure to answer that as a no and uh, there you will lose the opportunity, you will forfeit the opportunity to call any other witnesses on your behalf other than yourself. So I will ask you one last time, sir, do you have any other witnesses at the courthouse available to testify right now? Just ignores her. I'm not getting a response at all. Am I 
unmuting? You've been unmuted, sir. You just said I was muted, so I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know when you mute me or when I'm not muted. Well, you me muting you doesn't affect you being able to hear the court because yes, yes, uh, that only yes, mutes yes, your yes. audio coming into this courtroom. I confirmed already well, that audio to begin with. the um, that is. Yeah, he can't he can't hear, but he whenever she said he's reading from a book, he knew to hold up a Bible. Are you kidding me? This is what the this is the enraging part is that he thinks everybody's idiots. He thinks people are stupid. I mean, you have to ask yourself, did this shit really work on other people in his life? To where he thinks he can do this kind of crap and people just believe him? Simply a misstatement. I confirmed with the bailiffs that the audio why, and visual were why working. Is my audio, why is my audio muted to begin with? Because you interrupt the court repeatedly. So I'm going to ask you uh, yet another way, even though for three times now he has failed to answer this yes. court. You indicated last week that you would like to call your mom as a witness, Don Woods. Um, you were provided with notice that the state would not be assisting with that in any way. You indicated when that was said that if you wanted your mom to testify, she would obey you and she would be here. So I trust that you've made arrangements for her to be here. Are you going to call Dawn Woods as a witness this morning and specifically now? Look at this crap. I will ask him a second time, sir. Do you have Don Woods available to call as a witness this morning? He's been unmuted though, uh, for a while now. We can obviously hear him. I will ask Mr. Brooks a third time. For look at look at him snap him headphones off like like a child. I mean, again, if he couldn't hear her, then how did he know to hold up a Bible? For the record, he's finally putting on hey. headphones. Wow. Do you, is Dawn Woods in the courthouse available to testify right now? Do you hey, intend hey, to call hey, her? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. For the record, Mr. Brooks only puts on the headphones when he's in the other courtroom. He does not put them on when he's in here. The audio yeah, because, and the visual because, work just in fine courtroom. in that courtroom. When I'm, His, when, I'm in, when I'm in the actual courtroom, I can hear. I don't need to be. Muting. Mr. Brooks's statements that the audio doesn't work when I mute him is simply false. I, I didn't say nothing about the audio not working, so you need to stop lying on the record. I'm not lying on the record, sir. You I are lying on the record. All right, he is getting, I'm going to mute him once again because now he's raising his voice. Now he's angry. He's thrown the headphones. Um, he certainly does his voice. Now he's angry. He's thrown the headphones. Um, he certainly does not seem to want to answer any of the questions this court has. I asked him three times if he had any additional witnesses to witnesses, and I did not report his right to present as for Mr. Brooks in this case. So what she's saying is this is powered by Zoom. I'm very familiar with Zoom, okay? Use it every day. <laughs> what she's saying is he can, he can, he, he can hear the audio through that room, through Zoom. Um, he doesn't have to put on those headphones. And like I said a hundred times, we watched him pick up that Bible when you said he was reading from a book. He is full of horse shit. So yeah, this has happened. Okay, this is getting longer, so I'm going to stop it. I will do what I normally do, though, and continue to watch this today. And um, I will uh, bring you anything I think is relevant or We'll talk about or whatever but yeah that happened this morning with the whole car and the recall and now he's mad and you know he's going to dictate everything that happens in this courtroom because he's the boss y'all didn't know he's running this show you know everybody else sit down and wait on old Derek brooks yeah all right guys thanks again for all the support stuff i know i've said it a hundred times but it really it really is pretty cool it really is so, um, okay, with that, I'm going to stop this now, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, I'm going to keep watching this trial. Thanks, Cedric Migraine. I um, hope you have, guys are having a good day. All right, see you later.